Hey, welcome back to the vlog on Justin's Motorsports, where everything starts with a dream. And today I am broadcasting from the future on my channel. This is the video where you guys have been waiting for. If you watched my previous video, I do apologize for the audio and stuff. I'm working on the bugs with the head, the head cam and all that. So, um, you know, I figured out some strategy how to work with that. But anyway, is the one you're waiting for me first time driving an EV vehicle, so going on a road test, and the vehicle I selected was the Kia EV6 GT line. So I looked at all the other electric cars there, and I was thinking about testing the Tesla, but when I look, I'm not nothing against Tesla or anything, but when I looked at the Tesla, it's like, I just don't feel anything. I don't feel like a soul or something. It's just so bland and boring to look at, and the interior isn't very nice. So as I was walking around, I actually saw the one that did pop out to me was the Kia EV6. You know, it's classified as an SUV. It looks like a wagon to me, so it has a wagon vibe to it. So that's what really attracted me to it. It has aggressive look, back end's nice, uh, nice interior and all that, as you can see. And, yeah, so I chose particularly that car to test because it caught my eye to be more interested in actually wanting to drive that EV. So, with all I'll do, we'll end the video to my road test, and then after the road test, I will give you my impressions on what I think about EVs, and if I even if I consider of actually uh, buying one. So, with all I'll do, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. Well, yeah, yeah, well, you come with me, so. I haven't driven one of these before, so. Yeah, nice easy pointers. Yeah. So, uh, we'll lay out the basic foundations. All right. So, obviously, start button. Oh. Right there. Alright, right here? This one. Right there, right there. And hold down the e brake. Alright. And then let go and then hold it down again. Alright. Okay. Tap it one more time. Alright. Put the brake down. Yep. Tap it. There we go. Oh, wow. So, basically, we got all our controls and everything here. Okay. So, the gear shifter is a little strange, as well as you have your kinetic braking. So right there is your kinetic braking level. Okay. So you can change it with these paddle shifters. You just have to do it while you're driving. Oh, okay. And that just restores energy back into yep. the battery. And so whenever you let off the gas, it will slow you down. Oh, yeah. So you can change how much it slows you down. Oh, okay. It's basically the same thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. So how much you regain. As well as it'll show you what you're using for power and then what you're gaining back when you're slowing down. Oh, okay. You also have your different drive modes, so you can press that, you go into oh, sport. sport, so it changes your range, Yeah. you can go into eco. Alright, oh, uh, up, oh, there we go, yeah. And then if you hold it down, you go into snow mode. Okay, that's all, yeah. Where am I going? Right here. Oh, yeah. So you just gotta go like that, uh, and then you press the button in like that, if you wanna do something. Okay. But yeah, and then that's just for the middle console, so that's the oh, okay. tension level. And if you want to switch screens, it's yeah. just this guy right there. Okay, so that's the average. Yeah. Oh, there's compass there, compass, yeah. Compass, and then that's the power output. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so that one will show you, like, blind spots, everything like that. Oh, wow. So, so oh, that's the, go on the navigation. Yeah, all that. it'll go to navigation. Most of this, all this on this side yeah. will go to that. Mm -hmm. um, and this is your change song, and then the volume level. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so the screen back to uh up to hit it like that. Oh, yeah. all right. It's just hitting it like that. Oh, I'm in eco, so <laughs> normal mode. Oh yeah, 415 and then 402. So yeah, it completely changes on yeah. what kind of drive mode you're on. Oh wow. It's pretty nice. Yeah. 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 And then so all you do is hold the brake down, yeah. then turn the dial. There we go. Oh wow. You feel that. Oh wow. Just even a light acceleration she goes. Oh yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll really be able to feel it. It feels like a lot of the times when I'm driving in, it's like, yeah. oh, it sneaks up. Oh yeah, there's the camera you can see right there. Yeah, you can just see your blind spot, which is pretty sweet. And as well, if you press this one, oh yeah. It'll show you. Oh wow. You move your car. Just on the road. Oh wow. Very cool. It is cool, yeah. Wow, there's all this tech gizmo. There's a lot of tech in it. Yeah. Just got to turn it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all the EVs now, they have yeah. a lot of kind of tech due to... Yeah. Fully yeah. 
And it slows right down, so it's right on the screen 30. <laughs> Wagons don't sell very well here. They in Europe, so that the class one has an SUV. Yeah. So they probably won't sell very many of them. Yeah, that's fair. Wow. It doesn't take long to get up to speed limit speed here. Oh no, it's yeah. quite fast. And we had the E6 GT, which was even faster than this one. Mm -hmm. Cause that one had 572 horsepower. Wow. Instead of 220, 330 for this one. Yeah. See the regeneration charging right there. Yeah, and sometimes yeah, really. you even get to see like the kilometers go up, and you'll see you regain a lot. That's yeah. why it's really nice for city driving. Yeah, you don't have to do much with the brakes to get it to stop either. Yeah, you can also go to fully i pedal, so you can do one pedal driving. Oh yeah, I've heard about that one pedal where it does the braking for you. Yeah, as well as um, you can turn your uh, regenerative braking onto automatic, so it will sense people in front of you and start slowing down. Oh wow! When you let off the gas, and if you just let off regular, it'll just yeah. let you coast. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool in that way. That tech has just advanced so much to yeah. the point that we can get to that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, like um, because that's how you activate your cameras. The other ones, uh, there's one higher trim than this. Oh, yeah. have, um, like, cool seats and oh, cool like seats there, yeah. <laughs> Which, they're a really nice way to uh, warm up, especially in an EV, mm -hmm. because they don't affect the range. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. It's so no, it's not, actually. Gee, I don't know. I'm, if I'm enjoying this speed and the torque, uh, <laughs> I might be getting one soon, because... I really like it, actually. Oh, yeah, they're very, very nice. We yeah. have a few 2024s coming in right yeah. now, actually. And anything that has all-wheel drive has the same drive track. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This way make a U-turn back down. I guess up here, I guess can make a U-turn back down. And yeah. Oh, this is nice. I like it. <laughs> oh, they you know about the EV6. I feel like it's not as popular a car as you say, like a Tesla yeah. or like maybe even the Audi e-trons. I know a lot of people know about those. Yeah. Um, you don't hear too many things about them. Yeah, so they're kind of underrated car. Exactly. We're trying to get the name out there, yeah. and I know they're a lot more affordable than than the Audis. The Audis and, and all that. Yeah. The EVs, yeah. The Teslas. Yeah. Even, so we're trying to get our name out there. Then I'll just drive it back and then yeah. you can go say hi to Chris. Yeah. He'll be able to help you. But yeah, like, um, yeah, these. Hey guys, I'm back there. So, I'm sort of broadcasting stuff in the future. So, after the road test and all that, I really did enjoy the car. They have it, this one has the torque and it, like, it just gets up and goes, which is pretty much all what EVs do. So the one is also all-wheel drive, which is nice. And I really did like it. Drove nice and smooth. Didn't hardly even feel any of the bumps. Uh, it's pretty high-tech, so it's something trying to get used to looking at all the tech and trying to figure out all the, the tech with this car, which they are very high-tech. But I enjoyed the car. And actually, since when I got my Corolla back from the body shop, I had a smile on my face, but 
It's actually the kind of a few times, only a few vehicles that I actually road tested that actually put a huge smile on my face and get the adrenaline and everything going. And vehicle like the EV6 that I tested um, satisfied me. Like I've never been happier and smilier than ever excited to be getting out of an electric car. I just always had a harp on those things, never did like them in that. And it won me over. I love this EV and I would consider uh, buying one. Not right now, I mean, that later down in the future, but that would be the EV that I would chose. That's the one I would buy if I had the 65K up front to buy the car. That's what it would cost to buy this car and what the line I was driving. So that's somewhere down the line. So, but yeah, I like that. Like I said, that would be the EV that I would choose and drive. It has, a, it has that wagon vibe to it. Lots of space, lots of headroom. Uh, great charging times on it too, but what I was seeing on that, what they can charge between like 18 minutes from zero and they put on a fast charger and then an extra 10 on there. So there I'd be able to stop, say, if I want to charge for 100, I would be there for like 20 minutes at the most, but I would never let an EV drop below 10%. So with the route, this one has route planning. So what I would do if, if I own this car on a road trip is I'll program the route so I'll arrive at the stop with 10% state of charge on the car and then hit it with the fast charger for about 15 20 minutes and see about 20 minutes or so I say this is 18 from zero so let's see from 10% and plug it in for 18 minutes and would actually see what I would get for this and that's how and in that time I could do the bathroom get some meat you know kind of stretch and all that so yeah so that's kind of what I would do if I owned an EV is that or at least on road trips is yeah I try and plan it out and all that which a lot of math, I, most of it, but like I said, I don't own one, I'm just giving my opinion that, yeah, it's changed my mind about them, so I do really enjoy them, and yeah, so if you like this, if you want me to find some more EV coverage, or maybe I could go down and talk to a few, maybe they might like me to do some EV tests on some more EV vehicles, because I seem to enjoy them, and that, so what I'll do, I will uh, end it here. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, like, share, comment down below. And if you want to see more EV coverage, then let me know down in the comments because I'll be happy to do more EV coverage if you're curious about them and all that. So uh, what I'll do, I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, on Justin's Motorsport, everything starts with a dream. Peace.